everyone, and welcome to today's Q&A at Evidence Based Birth. My name is Rebecca Decker, and I'm the founder of Evidence Based Birth. My question today comes from Jamie, a new mom who has a three-week-old newborn. Jamie says, Today I was told by my lactation nurse to breastfeed laying on my side. My son is three weeks now, and I've met multiple lactation nurses to help us tackle this new task, and I've never heard of that. Any feedback? I thought it was very odd. Well, Jamie, congrats on your new baby, and I'm so excited that you seem to be getting help with breastfeeding, because although breastfeeding is by many people considered to be natural, it doesn't always come naturally. It can be difficult, and there can be some obstacles that you have to overcome. Actually, the advice to breastfeed laying on your side is really good advice, and one place you can go to to look for evidence-based information about breastfeeding is a wonderful website called kellymom.com. Kellymom.com has been around since before I was a new mother, and when I had my first baby, I relied heavily on this website. The articles all contain lots of references, so you can go do even further reading, and it just has so many helpful articles that I can't even begin to describe the impact this website had on me. And definitely, sideline is discussed as an option you can use. There's all kinds of ways you can hold your baby. The important thing is that you're comfortable and that you have a good latch and that you know you can rest while you're breastfeeding because those first few weeks are so intense. And sideline is perfect if you're able to master it because you can really relax your whole body. It's easy when you're nursing to get really tense and tight. And so anything you can do to support your head and neck and the rest of your body and your arms is gonna go a long ways to making breastfeeding more comfortable. So that's my tip for you today, is for all of you to check out kellymom.com, check out all their resources. My other tip would be to find uh, some kind of support group in your hometown. You can try a La Leche League meeting. I know that for me, that made a big difference in my life. Um, Where I live in Kentucky, very few women breastfeed uh, past the first couple of weeks, and I was definitely in the minority. You most, I've only ever seen one time someone breastfeed in public. Um, so breastfeeding here is not common. Now in other parts of the country in the world, it's very common and you may have a lot more support. But for me, it was really helpful to find a support group so that I felt normal, to help me normalize breastfeeding, to help me ask simple questions like that. You know, what positions can I use? What do I do if this, if that? And it was just so helpful to do those meetings. So I would recommend finding some kind of support group, also continuing to seek help from certified lactation counselors or IBCLCs, that stands for International Board Certified Lactation Consultant. And, um, you know, obviously if you're watching this video and you have any problems or questions, make sure you seek out your own um, certified lactation help. That's it for today, and I hope to talk to you again later. Bye.